Hey everyone, James Lynch here doing a quick reaction video to the news that Bobby Green now has an opponent for UFC Austin. He is going to be taking on Jalen Turner. This according to Dana White in this video he posted on Twitter. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but uh, just made some announcements that this fight will be taking place. A three-round fight, Jalen Turner, Bobby Green. The other fight they announced was Joe Pfeiffer and Jack Hermanson going to be taking place in February. So that's going to be an exciting fight. And they also officially announced Volkanovski and Taporia as well. But I'm going to focus on the two fights uh, between Green and Turner and Pfeiffer and Hermanson in this video because I've already talked about Volkanovski and Taporia. Just that fight now we know is going to be in Anaheim. That's the only new news about the Volkanovski and Taporia fight and apologies for my voice uh, still dealing uh, with some sort of cold right now but uh, not sick enough that I can't talk some MMA with you guys let's start first with Green and Turner I think the big thing for Turner is can he make the weight this is next Saturday it's Thanksgiving today American Thanksgiving uh, Turner missed weight in his last fight at 158 against Dan Hooker and he's a big guy for the weight class six foot three with a 75 inch reach he will be the bigger fighter against Bobby Green who's five foot ten with a 71 inch reach so we'll see how Green handles the height and reach of his opponent of course, there were some rumblings even before this fight was made when Bobby Green fought Grant Dawson. I heard I had heard that Jalen Turner was in the mix of that potential matchup, and we know what Green did. He went out there, knocked out Grant Dawson. Huge win. That's back-to-back -back, uh, stoppage wins for Bobby Green, so big opportunity here taking out another sort of up-and-comer, so to speak, here in Jalen Turner, who is uh, ranked 12th in, the, 12th in the division, Green ranked number 13. I think it makes a lot of sense. Turner coming off a loss against Dan Hooker, which a lot of people felt like he was going to just go out there and take care of business against Dan Hooker, and that did not end up happening. It was a split decision, but I personally thought Dan Hooker did enough to win that fight. Also coming off a loss to Mateusz Gamrot. So credit for Turner here coming off two losses. And, um, you know, again, taking an opportunity here against Bobby Green. I should also mention Turner and Green used to have the same management as well. So I'm not sure what the negotiations were like, but Turner used to be rep by Iridium. I believe Green is still rep by Iridium. So I'm not sure how that sort of went down. Uh, as far as an early pick on this fight, I am going to slightly lean Jalen Turner. It's going to depend on the weight cut, though. If he has a tough weight cut, maybe I'm going to go the other way here. But I don't think Green's going to knock out Jalen Turner. Um, you know, again, it's only a three-round fight. I think Turner will be able to utilize that height and reach and pick up maybe a decision or a finish in this fight. Fight, but uh, leaning more towards the decision side of Jalen Turner getting it done here on short notice. Let's talk about the other fight I mentioned. Joe Pfeiffer finally getting a ranked opponent, going to be taking on Jack Hermanson. Quick tail of the tape between these two. Joe Pfeiffer, uh, 27 years old, six foot two with a 75 inch reach, taking on Jack Hermanson, who's six foot one with a 77.5 inch reach. So Hermanson going to have the reach advantage. Joe Pfeiffer going to be a little bit taller, and Hermanson a lot older at 35 compared to 27 for Joe Pfeiffer. Joe Pfeiffer, we know what he's been doing. He's been finishing everyone. He's been looking great, finishing Gerald Mershart in the first round, finished Amandovsky. Finished uh, Ozzy Diaz on Contender Series. This guy has looked outstanding. There's something about him. There's a lot of hype behind him. And he certainly looked like the real deal. This was sort of good matchmaking on the UFC's part. You give him a crafty veteran in Jack Hermanson, who's been, been you know, Hermanson himself has fought some of the top names in the weight class. Pfeiffer now gets that opportunity to take on the veteran that he hasn't really fought yet. Yes, he fought Razak Al-Hassan in his last fight, but... Um, you know, that, that's not a, like a mainstay ranked fighter. Jack Hermanson has pretty much been, uh, been that. And we haven't seen the Joker in a long time. Uh, he has not fought since uh, December of 2022, where he got finished by Roman Delize in a fight that was actually pretty competitive prior to the finish. Uh, he's on a bit of a skid here. Lost to Sean Strickland. Did beat Chris Curtis and then lost to the Leeds A. So he's going to look to avoid back-to-back -back losses in this situation. Although that Strickland loss hasn't exactly aged too badly with Strickland being the champion right now. And I've always been very high in the Leeds A. So uh, no worries there. Uh, so yeah, really looking forward to this matchup with him and Pfeiffer. Who am I going to take in this fight? I'm going to go with the up-and-comer here, Joe Pfeiffer. I think it's a pair of fighters going in two separate directions. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like Hermanson is kind of, even with that Chris Curtis win, has not looked the same since he got COVID. Um, I, I don't know what it is, but uh, like even in that Edmund Shabazian win, he did slow down a little bit in that fight. Um, I, I just think that, uh, I, I think Pfeiffer, too young, too quick, too fast. I think he goes out there and potentially finishes Jack Hermanson in this fight. This is a five-round fight, by the way, so uh, I think the opportunity for a finish is a little bit more likely here. Pfeiffer's got to work on his cardio, though. Big opportunity for him uh, coming up here quite soon. So just to do a quick recap, I do like Jalen Turner over Bobby Green. That's going to be my early pick on that one. I'll be previewing that whole card on Monday. And then the Pfeiffer and Hermanson fight, I'll probably do an early look preview on this one just because it is a main event. Looking forward to seeing that here in the near 
near future. So I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think Turner was the right replacement for uh, Bobby or for to take on Bobby Green? I should say. Uh, let me know what you think. I know some other people mentioned maybe Moicano or Saint Denis, but I think Turner's a good opponent. I'm, I'm happy to see this fight take place. And what do you think about Pfeiffer getting a step up fighting Jack Hermanson? I think it's the perfect fight for him. You don't want to throw him to the wolves. And I think Hermanson's a fight that will be competitive, but one I think ultimately Pfeiffer will look good in. Uh, follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, at Lynch on Sports. Thanks for watching. Again, sorry about the voice, and I'll talk to you guys soon.